right around the world. You're watching Old Mate's Backyard Tech. All right, I think most of us can attest and agree to this from time to time. Regardless of what industry you work in, there are things you want, there are things you need, and from time to time, there are things that you want and need at the same time. In the case of Old Mate, particularly in the pro audio industry, there are things I've needed, which I have, and there are things that I have wanted. Now, the wanted things, yeah, I want them, but I don't need them. However, in this case, I've always wanted one of these. Now, when I was recording, I really didn't need it. In fact, frankly, I don't think you do need this in the recording realm, particularly in the analog days. Nowadays, though, you know, well, you may use it, but when recording, you don't really need to. I always wanted one of these as a physical thing, a physical piece of iron, basically. But even today, they're still very expensive. So I cheaped out. A few weeks ago, I bought something for myself that I don't need, but I wanted. And a couple of weeks ago, you probably saw it in a recent video. Well, today, I actually want to share that with you guys. As you can see in the background, it's pro audio time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech combined with a bit of a product review video. And we're going to have a look at a plug-in I bought for, well, loudness monitoring. Like I said, I don't need it. I just wanted it. Mixing consoles. DAWs. Monitor and reference speakers. Effects and dynamics. Here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech, it's pro audio time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is pro audio time here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Strangely enough, pro audio for, well, pro audio Fridays, combined with a bit of a product review video as well. Now, I often don't go out and buy things for myself, whether I need them or want them. But in this case, I thought, you want to know something? I really want one of these. Now, when I was recording, I didn't need one of these because I had a perfectly good mixing console in front of me. And during the recording process, you really don't need this as far as I'm concerned. Now, other people will disagree, but my personal opinion is I didn't need one of these. Now, even when I wanted to get one as a piece of physical rack-mounted equipment, they are very, very expensive. Now, a lot of you are probably sitting there scratching your head, wondering, what in God's name is old mate on about? What the f is he talking about? I'm talking about Doros or Doros loudness meters. Now, depending on how you want to pronounce it, all right? These meters look fantastic. Now, undoubtedly, a lot of you out there will be familiar with them, all right? Whether you work in IT, whether you work in radio, TV, music, broadcasting, film, what have you. Okay, these are legendary meters, and they're very well known. Now, I always wanted one, but as a hardware piece of rack-mounted equipment, they are very expensive. But then we are talking about Doros. I mean, or Doros, however you want to talk about it. I pronounce it Doros. I know other people probably pronounce it Doros. I think these are great. So I went out and got myself the plug-in. Now... I don't really need it because obviously with Mixbus 32C, you have the LAN and you can apply your loudness um, requirements to your final mix. Now, be that in your initial mix down of your track or in your final mastering to make sure you hit that, whatever it is, minus nine LUFS or something. I mean, let's face it, with old mate, you guys know loudness is nothing to me. I don't bother with it, okay? I do check my LAN in my final uh, mastering, find out where it's at and what it's doing. And I use the algorithm used from Mixbus 32C to arrange it. 
But it's also nice just to have this plugin to look at how, you know, you might drop it into a stereo channel and just to see how loud it actually is with relation to LKFS or LUFS, depending on which, um, which loudness platform you reference effectively. So what I want to do is show you this plugin and give you an idea of why I like them. Now, the plugin comes as both mono and stereo. I'm obviously using stereo. But at the same time, you could use this plugin, all right? Now, say, for example, <coughs> excuse me. Say, for example, you're making a, a, a track at home, okay? Uh, independent of your DAW of choice. Right? It doesn't matter what your door of choice is, okay? So you record your, 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 your raw track, and you're like, I wonder how loud this is. Well, this plugin allows you to see loudness. Now, loudness and volume are a little different, okay? As we know, I have Mixbus 32C set up in the analog realm, okay? So, zero dB VU because I'm an analog mixing engineer or analog console engineer. So, minus 18 dB FS to me is zero dB VU on an analog console. Anything over that, and you, you're going into analog clipping, but remembering that zero dB VU is a lot you know, lower than zero dB FS. So for this video, I wanna share with you guys this plugin and why I like it. And the reason I've loved it is it its look and the way it shows you how loud things are. Um, I know a lot of you out there, or at least two or three of you will be doing, you know, the old scratching of the head going, what the hell is he talking about? Most of us out there though, who work in, you know, IT, broadcast, radio, television, film, music, etc. You guys will be familiar with this, okay? But two or three of you out there, like I said, are probably doing the old scratching of the head. Having said all that, let's uh, let's get into Mixbus 32C from Harrison Consoles, the only DAW of choice here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. And let's have a look at DeRose or Doro's loudness meters because, well, to be brutally honest, not only are they good to look at how loud your track is, I reckon they look bloody all right as well. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right. Well, here we are in Mixbus 32C version 8.2 from Harrison Consoles, the only DAW I will use and recommend to anyone who watches Old Mates Backyard Tech. And these are it. The Rose or Doros loudness meters. Now, like I said, some of you out there will be scratching your head going, why? Well, I don't need these. I just wanted them because I reckon they look really, really good. In fact, Doro's equipment always looks good, but these look fantastic. And Waves has done a very good job in making these look like the original meters. Now online, they're very expensive. All right, so I cheaped out, like I said, and got got these. I know the other half's up and about. Um, so basically the reason I got these was I want to see how loud something is. Not it's a volume or it's volume unit or it's decibels or whatever have you. I want to see how loud something is. Now these come with, they come in mono and stereo by the way. But you can see here we can go with our traditional just up and down meters for left and right. Horizontal, correction, we'll start that again when we go with vertical, horizontal or more of that classic VU type um, meter layout. All right, now as, as across the bottom, we've got our peaks. We've got our, uh, I can't even read that properly. Our overs, there we go. And our settings mode. And you can see here, I've got it set left and right. I can have it set as phase. There's our phasing. We can have our sum off. And I use it as left right. So let me show you these. I've just bought up the master of Summer on the Way, which I released a couple of weeks ago now. I think I released it. But anyway, let's um, let's play this and I'll show you the, how good these meters are. Make sure I haven't got the music too loud. No, it's good. So you can see this shows you how loud something is. All right, if we go back to our vertical look. Now a lot of people will probably prefer to use 
a loudness meter in this style, all right? I prefer more of the classic DeRose style, which is this. Go small if you want. We have our ranges up the top. I run it in that realm. Why? Because that's what I prefer. So you can have it held. Reset button there. I'll leave it on auto. Summit. We look at our phasing, and as you can see, everything is in phase, which is always nice. Go with our overs. Let's reset. So they are not over anything at all. And then this. The reason I always wanted one of these was to actually be able to right, see how loud something is. And I just reckon they look great. Doro's equipment always did look good. Now, the unfortunate thing with this one is, right, the one I always wanted was the big rack mount one that was set up with two of these in one window. I'm looking a bit more like that, you know, your traditional VU type metering, right? But we all know old mate loves his, you know, VU style old pin meters and that, and that's why I got this. And the good thing with this is I can actually see how loud something is on a raw track. So I could bring it into here, right, and actually see it. Right, that during, you know, say I've sequenced in, you know, a piece of music, you know, run a MIDI track, drum loop, what have you. I can actually see how loud something is before I go through the whole mixing dynamics and processing step of, of, of tracks that I make. So if you, I mean, like I said, a lot of you who work in IT, a lot of you who probably work in the broadcast industry and the music industry, be well aware of these meters. Okay, well aware. It's like people who we all know all band. You know the OptiMod series. Um, that'd be an interesting plugin to get, wouldn't it? Imagine getting an all band OptiMod plugin for a DAW. You know? So you're doing some sort of shortwave or AM broadcast, uh, or even OptiMod FM, OptiMod HF, UHF, everything. But if you're looking for, you know, if you're in a position like old mate where you can't go out and just buy a piece of rack mounted Doro's equipment or Doro's, however you want to, I've always known it as Doro's. Okay, that's how I've pronounced it. But these are just, you know, really good meters. They show you how loud something is. And particularly if you're looking for that, you know, minus nine, minus six LK, LUFS type, um, uh, measurement for your music these are going to give you that so kudos to waves but also to doros and i think the developers of this plugin have really done a good job and i absolutely love these meters now like i said do i need them no i don't need them i never needed them when i was recording because i don't believe you need that in the recording process after all when you're recording you're sitting in front of a you know, 16 to 48, 64 channel mixing console. You've got metering there. You've got a meter bridge, you know. And, and, and in the case of recording, my own opinion, which we know gets me into trouble, um, is that that's no good if you're recording. Your whole idea of recording is you've got metering there on your desk and you're driving that mag tape or whatever in, in, particularly if you're using analog metering, to zero dB. Maybe plus one if you're looking for a little bit of saturation of the analog signal. So I love these things. Um, I've got it set up on the master bus. If I bring the mixer over, I bring the mixer over. So you can see there, I've also got, as always, my VU meters. Okay. So you can see here that the, my loudness meter is coming after the yellow inks. There's the, there's the loudness analyzer, which I applied to the track, right? I applied the loudness 
analyzer to the truck and you can see there it's down minus effectively 3.2 decibels or about half of zero db because oh, remember going down by half you lose 3 db so you can see there that i'm down minus 3.19 db um which i think it worked out to be about minus eight lufs i think it's the final one um but as always you know if we replay it if i go back oh hang on a minute if i rewind take it back close that off for a minute you can see here i'm i'm slightly saturating the the system there's no doubt about that i have got a little bit of tape saturation there i am getting into you know minus you know plus two db you can see there i'm about 100 and, I don't know, 110 120 percent pppm a uh, ppm so i just i think these look fantastic these meters and i use them particularly on the on the final master bus out i also like this track i've made too but that's just me so there we are doros or deros loudness meters and i recommend if you are looking for a loudness meter to see how loud your stuff is i reckon you go and spend the money on them all right i really do and like the I know people are going to be like, yeah, but it's Doros. Yeah, I know it's Doros, but you guys are all well aware now that if I think something's good, I'll promote it here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. So there we go. I thought I'd just share that with you guys. I love them. And as you saw there, it's on the master bus out. So I can see how loud something is at the final stage, the very final stage. There we go. Bit of a short Pro Audio Fridays here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. Now, just before we finish up um, Pro Audio Fridays, because I only had one video for Pro Audio Fridays, you're probably noticing the camera looks horrendous, and that is true. Next year, I am going to organise to get a better camera, um, probably a Logitech or something like that, uh, that's got proper 1080p. Remember, this thing's only 720, so it's not great, and some tweaking with OBS has been the only way I could actually get this thing to work properly. Well, as bad as properly as I can get it to work. And I've had this camera a long time now, so I'll probably go out and get another camera early in the new year. So there we go. Anyway, that's it for Pro Audio Fridays here at Old Mates Backyard Tech for 2022. Uh, the final video for, well, final official content for the, for the year here at Old Mates Backyard Tech. Um, thanks to all of those who watch Pro Audio Fridays. I know there's not many of you, but... It's the one day of the week I can do whatever I want with obviously Harrison. I do want to thank the supporter Harrison Consoles as well. Um, thank you for your comments too this year, guys. Uh, I am, and they probably know this, I am a Harrison Consoles fanatic uh, or enthusiast, take your pick. <laughs> Whichever way you look at it, I don't think there's no, it's no secret, I love Harrison. And I wouldn't recommend anything else either, to be brutally honest. There we go. Anyway, thank you for all your support here for Pro Audio Fridays throughout 2022. It will return in 2023. There we go. That's it. Up next, though, the annual, the final vlog, end of year wrap up here at Old Mate's Backyard Tech. This has been an Old Mate's Backyard Tech presentation.